Hey there, welcome to the Shoe Ren and Droid channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon snail. Don't ask me why, <laughs> just do it. Okay, this seemed like such a good idea. I thought it would be nice and quick and uh, it's taken me all day in the end. I draw it kind of a line at an angle and a semicircle, slightly taller semicircle like that, halfway in there. Bring this around and underneath. Okay, so that would be kind of going there. Then that will then go around there like that. Um, so that will actually want to come in underneath that line there. Then bring this line around there. So it's kind of slightly, slightly egg shaped. Okay, and you want to come down like about a third here and a half in okay and then come round up to the top come down about a third and about a half in okay like that and then similar there put the foot coming out something like that and then the body will we want it to be they're kind of have quite squarish heads like that. And I think we might want to bring that up a bit more like that. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a tentacle. No, that's going to be an eye stalk rather than <laughs> the eye stalks. And we're going to have tentacles, which, as he's a cartoon, I'm going to turn them into kind of like moustaches. Okay, and he's going to need a mouth, isn't he? He doesn't. They do have mouths, actually. That's the whole reason I'm doing this thing in the first place. I was tidying up my videos, and um, and I came across this old video, which I used to have on YouTube, uh, uh, and it kind of got taken down. Well, no, I took it down, and um, I was clearing up YouTube anyway, and um, and it was a video I took. I came across these two slugs eating uh, I'm going to make these quite big these eye stalks like that I came across two slugs eating a worm and it was just gross and and I came across that again this morning I thought oh yeah I'll put that back up on YouTube on my She Ran A Live channel so I've done that and uh, and a little mouth there we go so I've done that and 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 then I thought, yeah, I'll do how to draw a snail to go with it. Uh, you want to draw eyeballs in there. Uh, like that. And uh, so, <laughs> so I thought that would be nice and quick and easy. And it's not. So this has taken me quite a long time to work out. Uh, and you want these kind of going at ever increasing angles and then it wants to kind of go straight and then it's going to start curling around and this will be kind of curling kind of that way and then that will be and now it will start curling around there so it's it's getting this bit is no that's not good it, so that's straight there and then that will want to yeah there we go it's really not easy getting this um, feel for the this kind of the tubular and 3D-ness of this uh, is quite difficult so yeah I actually did a, a book I wrote a book and illustrated it about a slug and a snail called Slug makes a home, I think it is. I was just asked to write a story about animals, and I thought, oh, you know, do something different. And uh, so I thought, I thought, I will do a story about a slug and a snail because they're going to be really, really hard to draw, and there'll be a kind of a uh, a challenge. And uh, and they certainly were, but um, but so while I was kind of researching it all, I thought I need. I need to have a a slug, you know, and uh, a pretty slug, because <laughs> they're always so sort of brown and 
sticky, ucky, gooey and horrid. And um, so so I did some research and I found out there was this thing called a banana slug which you get on the west coast of uh, the United States. And I thought, oh, it looks so pretty. It looks like a banana with kind of... Um, brown spots, yellow yellow slug, brown slots, spots. And so that's kind of how I worked my snail char slug character. And I was really pleased with him. And then about a year later we went on a holiday vacation to um, to Canada to meet, to go and see our relatives in uh, Vancouver Island. And then we went to Tofino for a couple of days and and while we were there, we went to um, a, a, a kind of a, a sorry, I'm concentrating here. Uh, we went to a temperate rainforest kind of park thing place, and as we were walking along this kind of boardwalk through it all, there was this banana slug, and I was ecstatic, and completely embarrassed my family by getting down on my knees and taking close-up shots of slugs. <laughs> Other tourists that are coming past going, you know, oh, what, what's happening here? And they go, my family go, he's taking photographs of slugs. And they go, oh, yeah, right. And, um, <laughs> and they would kind of move on quietly. So uh, I'll put some little movement things, wobbles in his eyes. So if you were in Tofino two or three years ago and there was this crazy guy photographing slugs in the forest, <laughs> you'll know who he was. <laughs> and, uh, they are very pretty. And I was very thrilled to actually see a real live banana slug. There we go. That's what I've got. I think I'm going to finish it about there. I think I, I might just put some cross hatching in to just kind of try and get some shade, but also getting a bit of kind of curl to it. Which I hope that's kind of achieving it. And I think it needs a bit more shade altogether around this edge, rather this curve there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go and have a look at those disgusting slugs. And uh, why not try doing drawing a brontosaurus or maybe try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed. And uh, in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.